Hey guys, this is Jess from Kramer Electronics, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to register your VIA and get it updated to the latest firmware. Let's get started. First, you will need to go to www.kramerav.com. Then, you are going to search for the VIA product you would like to update. We are going to be using a VIA Connect Pro. Firmware downloads are available under the Resources tab for each product. Before you can download the firmware update, you must register your VIA. To do this, you will need to be logged into your account. If you do not have an account, you will need to create one by clicking the register link. Register in the website only takes a few seconds. And if you choose VIA owner as the customer type, you will be approved immediately. However, if you already have an account, log in and then you can begin registering your VIA products. To register your VIAs, you will either need the hardware or software serial number of the VIA. Let me show you where you can find these. The hardware serial number is the 14-digit number found on the silver label on the bottom of the product. The software serial number can be found on the embedded web page of the VIA. You can access VIA's embedded web page by opening up your web browser and typing in the room name or IP address of your VIA. On VIA Campus or Collage, the serial number can be found at the bottom of any page. On the VIA Connect Pro, you will use the MAC address. This can be found by clicking VIA Management and choosing Network Settings. Once we have the serial numbers, now we can register them on the website. Enter the serial number for the VIA you are registering and then click Find My Product. Please note that multiple serial numbers can be entered at the same time. Now that our VIA has been registered, we can begin the update process. To get started, select Request File. This will generate an authentication file that can be used to update all VIAs that are registered to this account. After the authentication file has been generated, download it to your computer. You will also want to download the firmware file. You will need both of these files to update VIA. To update your VIA gateway, you will need to log in to the embedded web page. Once you've logged in, select Utilities from the left-hand side and then Update Firmware. Here you will need to upload the authentication file first, followed by the firmware file. Once the firmware file has finished uploading, VIA will begin updating. VIA may restart several times during the update process. And that's it. You have now registered and updated your VIA. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us at www.true-collaboration.com. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button so you can be notified every time we upload a new video. See you next time. <music>